welcome back students this is megasham raju engineering college bikaner assistant professor in mechanical department so in the previous lecture we have seen the comparators so how they are different from the linear measuring devices like vernier caliper and micrometers later we have seen what are the different types of the comparators like a mechanical comparator in that we have seen the dial gauge or dial indicator then we have discussed what are the disadvantages and advantages of the mechanical comparators and after that electrical comparators so the best advantage of the electrical comparators is the magnification factor in it then we have discussed one of the famous electrical comparator lvdt linearly variable differential transformer or transducer based upon the application now coming to the next comparator electronic comparator as i have already discussed the difference between the electrical and electronic comparator majorly is based upon the magnification factor and the output what is the output generally in an electrical comparator the output will be ac signal or an voltage but in an electronic comparator the output are the signals with an little bit of an voltage in it however most of the electronic or electrical comparators rely on the mechanical contact with the work to be measured or the job to be measured but the electronic comparator is more complex because of the integra integration circuit in it and it is having very less size when you compare with mechanical or electrical and moreover the power consumption of the electronic comparator is less <coughs> these electronic comparator are mainly used where there is a higher requirement of the accuracy and reliability but it is not robust when you compare with the mechanical comparators and moreover the main advantage of the electronic comparator is it is having an higher response quick response and a speed response we can compare the jobs of around 500 per minute for example if you just want to compare the thickness of the stream coming out of a rolling mill it can easily compare like that the advantages of the electronic comparators are high accuracy and reliable high sensitivity in all ranges high speed of response easy provision for multiple ampli amplification ranges versi vers versatility it's like this comparator can be used for any measuring device <coughs> guys let me clearly tell you one thing that the electronic comparators are mostly the electronic gauges so using this gauge we can fix to any type of the measuring device that is a main difference between the gauge and the entire measuring device and moreover this electronic comparator can be easily integrated into an automation system so after the electronic comparator there are many methods many methods comparing the electronic comparators in that one of the first method and the old method is where the electronic comparator connected to an spindle with a spindle movement <coughs> the armature one end of the armature which is nothing but an arm is connected to the spindle and the other end is connected to an coil with the balancing and imbalancing of this coil there is change in the meter which is a linear change and the second one is in which there is an movable coil which is nothing but an primary coil which is connected through some 
mutual inductance principle connected to a secondary coil and this secondary coil will give an voltage and here there will be an amplification of around 10 power 5 1 is to 10 power 5 amplification takes place in this second method where mostly the second method is used with an LVDT principle <coughs> one of the main disadvantage of the LVDT is LVDT is used for in static measurements but not for the dynamic measurements as it contains an more weightage of the core because of the higher inertia of the core movement it can't be used for a dynamic measurement. <coughs> Another electronic system employed with this comparator is capacitive change. A two electronic met two metal plates which are movable and this movement is connected to an <coughs> spindle with the spindle movement this the gap between these two electronic plates will be changed which is nothing but a dielectric constant with the change in the dielectric constant the capacitance changes and this change in capacitance is connected to a bridge which is nothing but an it is similar to a Wheatstone bridge so this imbalance movement is connected to an meter and which is varies which varies linearly <coughs> and the final thing final one which is nothing which is the famous one used in a sigma comparator which is a famous electronic comparator used in industries where in this comparator we will be using an oscillators <coughs> Generally the movement at the probe tip is connected to an transducer. Before this transducer a sensor will be there in which it senses the movement of the probe. This movement of the probe is connected to an transducer and the transducer convert the signal to an DC signal and this DC signal is connected to an oscillator which converts the DC signal to an AC signal and whatever the oscillator output will be a small AC signal and this small AC signal is amplified through an amplification factor or an amplifier sensor will be there and we will get an output as an higher AC signal and this higher AC signal is given to a demodulator and this demodulator gives an DC signal output and this DC output is connected to a meter or dial <coughs> in which change in frequency with respect to the present frequency is measured of linear displacement. <coughs> this is what the sigma electronic comparator is where Along with this transducer here, here will also have one sensor. The movement in this probe is connected to an transducer where the movement of the probe sensed by the sensor and connected to an transducer and the output here will be having a DC output connected to an oscillator which will give a small AC signal connected to an amplifier to get a large AC signal connected to a demodulator which will give an DC output or DC current connected to an dial. <coughs> Various measuring control units can be incorporated to this gauge for a wide range of single or multiple measurements to be made simultaneously. So that's what this electronic comparator can be used this entire thing electronic gauge will be calling it can directly use it to various instruments using various adapters to suit the work we can chain the adapters for example this adapter is used to measure the flatness of the work or a job 
the comparator can be put to many applications such as external and internal gauging that's what I have told you based upon the changing of this adapters and the dial gauge, dial change changes in the dial this entire concept of the electronic gauge can be used in any type of an internal or external instruments as a gauge that's what the flat flatness testing thickness gauging and tube wall thickness these are some of the applications of this electronic comparator and <coughs> here I didn't show the Sigma comparator diagram but it will be working on this principle only so the Sigma electronic comparator which is very popular in industries for an inspection because they are having the below advantages it is easy to use and provide in convenient means of measurement it has a high degree of accuracy and repeatability it has a provisional to set several ranges of tolerance very easily as it is an electronic thing the tolerance changing of the tolerance is very easy in this light indication on its display uh, the entire sigma comparator will be having and there will be a display unit and transducer unit in this display unit you will be having one light if it is matches to our requirement then there will be a glowing of the light light indication on a display unit enables fast inspection since the inspection of component does not have to refer to the scale every time <coughs> it can be easily integrated with a computer or microcontroller therefore inspection can be recorded or further analyzed so <coughs> this sigma comparator connecting to a microcontroller you can do the automation fine so these are the electronic comparator types and in the next class i will be discussing the unit 4 before that i will be giving a notes of the pneumatic comparators thank you guys